Hi, Shalom of Racha, everybody. Uh, this video is for the study of Daily Zohar 1846, Shlach uh, Lecha, the portion of Shlach Lecha. We have, actually it will cover from uh, recent Daily Zohar studies, all, everything that is related to man and beast, uh, life and death, it's very, very important study, and I hope that you get the, the best out of the study. Uh, I, I apologize for the simple uh, video. Uh, I don't have uh, staff or team or money to pay for, you know, for real good productions. So what I'm doing is actually I have a so program that uh, captures the screen and recording myself uh, while displaying the screen. So uh, anyway, we'll go over, we'll start the study and uh, please focus on the study, not on the jumping screens and everything that's uh, going on around. Okay, so to the study. We start with, uh, <coughs> we started the study with uh, the verse from Ecclesiastic 3.19 about uh, people, foolish people that think, you know, whatever, uh, that in life, uh, whatever happened to man and uh, beast is uh, the same. They both die, they both move, uh, and uh, King Solomon, who is uh, the author of this book, Ecclesiastes, he said, Umutara Adam min habema ayin. And man has no advantage over the beast, for all is vanity. Of course, the English translation is corrupted, and we explain that ayin is actually the chokhmah. Because uh, there is a verse that says, Chokhmah me'ayin timatzeh. Chokhmah comes from ayin. Ayin is ensof. This is the tree of life. And this is Chokhmah. We know that the upper three spherot are concealed. We cannot see it. And this is the six spherot of Zer and Pin. That is the process of receiving the light from the upper three down to Malchut. So the Chokhmah comes from ayin, from the concealed place, from the endless. Keter connect to the endless and tra tra transfer the light uh, to Chokhmah. Chokhmah then uh, joined with Binah, unified, and then there's a process that brings the, bring the light down. So what's the difference between man and beast? As King Solomon said in the Zohar, that uh, man has the ability to connect to the higher level. Beast only in the lower level. So beast is part of like living in Malchut, connecting to the earth. There's no no connection to light. And this is the the masah, the, the what separates us from the light. And uh, only through a process we can break through it and receive light from the upper levels. This is the ninth sphere out of light. And this is Malchut, the tenth, which is no light of its own, it's darkness. So to receive light, we need to connect. So beast, all the, the animalistic behavior and all the people that don't believe that there is light, they actually stay in the lower level. They have no life, basically. I mean, the life is uh, temporary. And uh, once they exhaust their energy of life, they're dead. There's no co connection here. We'll continue, we'll explain later what's the, the connection to true life, what is true life. So, and that's the difference between man and beast. Now, and the difference is actually between life and death. Lower level is death, Malchut is death. Malchut doesn't have light of, of its own, like any of the upper spherot. Malchut, without work, without process of earning, there's no light, so we need to work and make connection with different things on a physical level. We need to do spiritual connection, we need to read, study, uh, and uh, give tithing, uh, do acts of sharing. That create a channeling of light in this world, so there is a revelation of, uh, of light. Without sharing, without restriction, there's no, share, uh, there's no revelation of light. So, and that's, that's a different beast, and uh, people that think only about the, themselves, selfish, has no connection. 
So they are in the dark, totally in the dark. This is aspect of death. And those people are considered dead. The Zohar said, like, Rasha'im, Bechayim, Metim. They, 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 they dead in their life, you know. Life in this world, they actually dead. Because they don't have uh, the true life energy that comes from the upper levels. So, and uh, <clears throat> and why is that? Because, you know, uh, we read we read in Genesis 9, verse 6, Ki b'tselem Elohim asayet adam for in the image of God, he made man. And what's the image of God? What's the image? The numerical value of image is actually a tree. And this is the tree of life. So man ca- has the ability, was born with the ability to connect to the tree of life. But there's a process of earning. Like uh, we're in Genesis, in the sweat of your, you earn your bread. So, the next step is uh, to understand that is uh, the man also the numerical value of man is uh, the same uh, numerical value of the yud kevav k that is related to zer and pin. So man representing uh, represents zer and pin, and the female is malchut. So there is in order to create life, man must connect to malchut, a woman, a vessel need to draw the light from above. Uh, a man, the Arampin, is needed into the vessel. So there is a connection through Yesod, Yesod Tzadik Olam. So, and what happened then, when we have the, this connection, we create life. The, we have the upper nine spheres of light, nine months of pregnancy, and then there is a disconnection from the root, and a baby is born to this world. And uh, so, and then he, the umbilical cord is no longer there. So he must earn his breath, his life. So he need to get some food, need to live from this world. There's no more free gift. When he was in that aspect of the ninth spirit of light, oops, he had he was surrounded with water, with mercy. The word for womb is Rechem, the root of Rachamim, mercy, light of mercy. So that's why, you know, God forbid if a woman uh, loses her water bread, the water breaks, then the baby must be delivered immediately, immediately because from mercy it becomes judgment. So we need to bring the baby out immediately. And uh, so this is the aspect of life and death. Now, another aspect of life and death that uh, in the portion of Shlach, Shlach Lecha, you know, Moses sent uh, 10 uh, spies, 12 spies, to tour the land of Israel. So the land of Israel is Malchut, and he, he wanted them to connect, to check. Okay, let's take this away to check if there is a tree in the land. There is tree or I. So, uh, so they came, and fortunately, they didn't make the right connection, they created disconnection, and actually brought death on themselves and on the, on the rest. Uh, why was that? They needed to earn the connection, because the coming to the land of Israel, they could make the connection to the tree of life, and draw the aspect of Mashiach, it means continuous flow of light to the world. That's why Moses uh, sent uh, all of them, the 12, that representing the 12 lines, the 12 borders of Zerampin. Whoever is a student of the Daily Zohar studied this aspect before. So now Moses himself was not allowed to enter the land of Israel because God knew that, you know, they must earn it. He can do the work for them and make this unification. That's why he wasn't allowed to enter the land of Israel. So the the spies were also supposed to make this connection. But unfortunately they didn't. And uh, that's uh, one of the worst, uh, the third worst sin of the Israelites. The first was Adam and Eve, the sin of Adam and Eve that brought mortality to the world. And then the golden calf, again, that broke the disconnection from the Torah of uh, freedom of light. 
the sin of the golden calf break the broke this connection and again with the spies they broke again the connection so we left with with the se separated from the light and uh, we had the, the holy temple for a while that c brought us uh, flow of light to the world but uh, unfortunately with our sins we broke the connection and we didn't have this so right now we are individually and collectively need to make the work to do the work and connect to light to draw light and uh, to earn the life now since uh, there are no more issues of uh, you know um, now when we come to the final redemption we need each one of us to make a connection to life so our individual vessel should have a strong connection to the tree of life so we can earn the life at the time of the final redemption now this is the connection to immortality those who are like animal like beast feeding only from the lower level uh, their life is temporary and they end here those who has the connection to the Zohar and strong spiritual connection through action of sharing and studying they earn the light their vessel becomes pure and they uh, have a ticket by this connection this connection not this connection by connecting to the light they have the ticket to the final redemption when the final redemption comes sorry then there will be no masach, there will be no separation the light will be connected from the up all the upper level will be as one so we have the continuous flow of light and that's that's when uh, those who has the connection the ticket uh, registered in their vessel they can be resurrected and make this connection those who are like beasts living only of this world without doing any uh, spiritual connections to the light uh, studying and sharing and supporting if you if people can't uh, do the connection themselves they need to support and by that support those who make the connections uh, spreading the light revealing the light and by that they gain uh, they earn they share the merit of those who do the the work so and that make the connection that gives them the ticket to the resurrection and to the final redemption even if they die because everyone dies in the level of Merchut but when the time comes and the resurrection the promised resurrection only those with the ticket that they bought the ticket earn it in their vessel that they have the connection to the tree of life they can be resurrected otherwise if they don't have it they will stay de dead and actually the it's, uh, it's, it says in Torah in the Bible that there are on all I mean they, they will be like uh, uh, cursed uh, forever for generation countless generations and that is the aspect of uh, the spirit of man is the candle of Yudke Vavke because once we have the light then our candle the vessel it has the light of Yudke Vavke which is the upper levels so when the resurrection come then we have the the vessel the vessel is ready and you give up the connection is automatically the person would be resurrected so the most important part of this that i want you to take from the study is for you to have the desire to connect to life that's to make the connection and to work this life for this ticket for the immortality for the true life because otherwise if we live for this world in this world we are like beasts like animals connected to the nothingness basically to temporary state of existence and once our years are over whatever 90 100 120 that's it there's nothing more so that's why you know the 
the czar quoted the verse, it, it's better to be a, a dog with life than a lion, because a lion that, you know, may feel uh, strong and dominate his kingdom, uh, he has temporary life. There's no continuation for this. But those who, like, uh, do the work and listen to the master, which is the master of the world, has the ticket to the immortality. And that's what we need to do. And, and, you know, it's very upsetting that, you know, there are many teachers of Kabbalah, rabbis and stuff, you know, that uh, they say, you know, you know, come to Kabbalah, you'll get fulfillment and stuff. This is so stupid, you know, I'm sorry, foolish. It's uh, really, and you know, I can bring, you know, thousands of people that try this formula, but it didn't work for them. The Zohar is not for fulfillment in this world. Not at all. All the great of the Zohar, they didn't enjoy life in this world. Rabbi Shimon, he lived in a cave, buried himself, buried himself in the ground just to bring out this study, this energy of life for, for, for all of us. Did he have pleasure? No. When his father-in-law saw him coming out of the cave, he said he looked at him, he looked like a sick person. Rabbi Shimon, we're talking about Rabbi Shimon. And Rabbi Shimon told him, you know, that's that's my reward. That's why uh, Rabbi Shimon is immortal. And we will see him, Bezal Hashem, whoever has the merit for it. Now, after that, who was the great? The Holy Ari. Did he have good life? He died young. He, his son, died it's all about the spiritual work. It's about earning the life, the ticket to the resurrection, to immortality after the resurrection. Not in this world. There's no. There's not going to be any magical shot injection that uh, will give you immortality. There's nothing like this. It's only this is the, sh- the, the injection. The injection that we create ourselves, creating, opening the channels for the light. There is no, there is no fulfillment in this world. There is the work, and for people who has the merit, they can have fulfillment, but they they can't. They they get it only to continue the work. Whoever has have good life, he need the and money and wealth and properties. He need to use it for the benefit of the light. And what's that? Create continuation of life for people workplace, uh, create, you know, factories, produce good products and services for people, not to cheat them, not with greed, but to create something that has life energy, continuation, supporting many, many people and families, paying good salaries, not use them, not abuse them, take advantage of them. This is not, this is like going uh, like a lion, whoever has the money and feel like a lion in this world and uh, abuse the, the other people with greed and stuff, he's going to end, his life is going to end. And we see that, you know, all the rich people that you know, what's going on with them? They all get wrinkled and die. And that's okay, that's normal. To, be, to have the, the life, we need to allow the light continuously in our vessel. And that is done only by focusing on the light forever, to have the the candle of Yudke Vavke. So whoever teach you, okay, you have fulfillment in this world, don't, don't believe him. Don't believe, there's nothing like this. The whole spiritual work is not for, uh, for uh, making money in this world, even not for having relationship. It's for, yes, to find the soulmate and good uh, partner in life is very important for the spiritual work. If the consciousness is that, then the person may have the merit to get uh, his soulmate, her soulmate, and, uh, and do spiritual work. But it's all about the spiritual aspect. Without it, there's nothing. There's death. If there's no connection, there's death. This is death. This is life. When we connect to the tree of life. After the Ari, we have uh, 
many, many great uh, Kabbalists, but one that is close to most of us is Rabbi Ashlag. Rabbi Ashlag, did he have a good life? He gave all his money to charity. Whatever he earned from his daily work, he gave to charity to show complete trust in the light. He didn't collect money and kept it in his pocket. You know, he and he suffered. He was uh, he had a sick heart. It was very hard for him when he wrote the the commentary to the Zohar, the Sulam. His hands were shaking. He suffered a lot, a lot, a lot. He didn't have good life. Did he reveal awesome light? Obviously, we all benefit from it, from the work of Rabbi Shimon, the Ari, and Rabbi Ashlag, Rabbi Nachman of Breslav. You know, the Ari died at age 38. Rabbi Nachman of Breslav, the same. It's all about the spiritual work. Without it, and. Eh. And there are more in this uh, life. I don't want to mention name uh, and stuff, but you know, just look and see. It's not about this world. Yes, work. This world is to do the work that will give us the ticket for life. And we don't have much time. This is the time of Mashiach. If we don't earn the ticket immediately, there's nothing. There will be only death. And who will benefit from life in this world? Those that don't care get to the point of saying, you know what, I'm happy, I did everything I can do, and I'm doing every day, every breath I do. Every day I work, I think about the light, I do the work, the physical work, I share, I give, I study. That's the important thing. That's why the daily Zohar is important for everyone. Study every day, connect to the Zohar. Do your act of sharing in your community, in everywhere. You know, all those communities are nice. They're bringing people together. It's a good, it gives you a good feeling, hugging. But if you don't study the Zohar over there, just go for the social club. Enjoy it. You know, hug. Say Shabbat Shalom. Hug the friends. Feel comfortable for a while. But study the Zohar. If they don't say, teach you with open Zohar, that really reveal the light, there is no study. How you can come to the connection of the you know, to the, where the light comes from. It's all from the Bible and the Torah. These are the verses. And you're lucky you have the daily Zohar. I'm sorry, it's not ego, but th this is true, because the daily Zohar teach the way the, the Zohar itself teach. The Zohar being quote verses from the Torah and Bible and reveal the light of it. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm doing the same thing and following the same system and... Uh, that's it. Unfortunately, even though we have Liana, many, many thousands of subscribers, you know, the world can, enjoy, you know, there could be many, many more, tens of thousands of subscribers. Because without this kind of study, there is no life. This is life. <sighs> and that's why, you know, in Deuteronomy 30, 19, Today I've given you the choice between life and death, between blessing and curses. Now I call on heaven and earth to witness the choice you make, or that you would choose life so that you and your descendants might live. What do you mean choose life so you, so you must live? You're living? No, you're not living. We're all dead in this world. Life is after we we come to the final redemption, resurrection, and then we have we enjoy immortality. This is life. Right now, it's just a work to earn the ticket to that point. Choose life, it means study, share, give. This is life. Study the Zohar every day, Torah, Shabbat. The sages says, you know, that uh, there are many things that uh, gives you merit. And above all, study the Torah. The Zohar is the ultimate study of Torah because the Zohar revealed the light of the Torah and the Torah is life. Etz chayim ila machazikimba, a tree of life to those who hold on to her. And that's why we, choose the, we need to choose the Torah and the Zohar. This is our ticket to life. And I can continue on and on, but I will leave you with this, with this verse so 
you've been warned. This is the warning that God gave you. Choose life so you can live. You and your seeds and your descendants. And there's not much time to it, you know. Mashiach is at the door, and if we're not ready by that time, we can't change, we can't convert ourselves. Thank you very much, everybody. Bezrat Hashem, you all choose life.